I'm in Valencia, and this is a project that we've taken on. It's uh, a Moody or a Trintella. It's 48 foot. It uh, was a bit, feeling a bit sorry for itself when we found it, but um, we, we surveyed it, we checked it all over, everything's sound, and uh, now we're starting to, in the shipyard here in Denia, in Port Denia, uh, they're very good at what they do, and uh, they are restoring the whole boat for us. We're changing the rigging. As you can see, everything on here is hydraulic. And uh, as you're in a central cockpit, you've got everything next to you. You've got all, all the electric winches. You've got everything at your disposition. It really is a blue water boat. The teak, there's a little bit of damage, but that's all being restored on um, on the roof of the, um, the master cabin in the aft of the boat. But as I say, that's being restored. As you can see inside in this video, the quality of the teak is just, I mean, you, you have to go to, to an oyster or to, to find anything as good as this. It's a two cabin configuration, right? You can, um, which um, with, with two heads, it's uh, 48 foot, but it's a boat designed for blue water navigation. The hull, which is made from teak, uh, and it's got a GPL uh, sort of GPL uh, cover, is in perfect condition. So you don't have to worry about osmosis. It's extremely solid. As you can see, the quality of the uh, porcelain sinks, the, the door fittings, the the wood. It's it's a delight. It really is a delight. It's old, an old world, beautiful blue water boat. So I'm taking you round. This is the boat. Literally, all we've done so far is that we have um, prepared the hull for its uh, first of its three coats of paint. Uh, we're, paint we're painting in sort of off-white with uh, below the waterline a green anti-fouling. Uh, this theme we're going to continue with the... Um, with this, with not with not the spray hood so much, but the two the two uh, bimini's, uh, because even though it's not as pretty as it could be, we prefer to keep the the glass um, windscreen uh, because it's ideal for uh, crossing the Atlantic. As you can see, these cushions, um, the bedding is being uh, renewed and. Uh, you can see there's a tiny bit of uh, infiltration there on the left, a bit of water, but we've, uh, uh, I mean, we've, we've stopped, stopped the infiltration and we're repairing that piece of wood. As you can see, it's just, it's just all made of teak. It's just a wooden frame uh, all the way down to the hole to the top and uh, it's solid. It's good for, good for many, many years to come. Here at the captain's desk, you can see that the, you know, Electronics are completely all out of date, but not to worry, that's all being changed. We are studying the various um, uh, possibilities to make this a true ocean going boat of what, what electronics to put in. I have a preference myself for, uh, uh, the, uh, for, for a certain mark, which I'm not going to say it's publicity, uh, but it's, uh, it's a very good one. Uh, we're we're completely doing the um, the rigging. Uh, that's a nice touch. Look, if you see the um, you see the galley, so you can just cook out of the way, and it's very very cosy. You just sit around the table here. You've got uh, what it's called a bonquet, just just behind here, so you comfortably seat six people round. And we're going to go down now through the galley. You've got the engine room on the right. I'll try and open that up for you, just to give you a view. This is the electrics, which we're completely changing, the various gauges. But I stress once again, everything worked on this boat. It's just, just old. And now we're going to replace things like the sails. We're putting three new sails, sails on it. We're changing the, uh, as I say, the rigging, we've, uh, the, the motor, which is uh, very reliable, started first time. 
130, 130 horsepower. And uh, so uh, you'll see, you'll have a quick glimpse of the tap for the, for the, the water maker, the fresh water maker. It's got a powerful generator on board. So you've got, uh, you're completely self-sufficient. I mean, if you wanted to, we're thinking about adding a, um, an inverter and a couple of so solar panels. Uh, but uh, that's not that's something we can discuss with a prospective uh, buyer. We're, we're changing all the uh, all the all the seacocks, and so basically you, you've got a classic boat. But uh, and uh, the only thing original uh, will be the uh, the engine, uh, the generator, because it's, it's 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 superior to any anything you buy today. And uh, here you have the master cabin. So you've got a big sort of chaise lounge on the side, and uh, the the boat is very wide. Look, and there you can see what what went wrong with the boat. There's a, there's some water infiltration not here in the bathroom, but uh, yeah, beautiful bathrooms, really beautiful wooden bathrooms. And here you you see that the, the the water came through the roof here, or dripped through the roof. It's not dramatic. And uh, we're actually renewing with teak the the these, um, the part at the top right hand side. So as I say, it's uh, we're restoring the boat completely, um, and uh, we should by the end of April have a nice boat. Phone me if you're interested. Thank you.